What is up guys, it's AG from Techbox Community, back again with another video. And it was WhatsApp's 8th birthday guys, when they released an update. An update guys, an update, just an update. This is another video, is going to focus on that particular update. Now we all know that Facebook bought WhatsApp some time back. Also, Instagram is also Facebook's property. But, WhatsApp till date was not quite like Instagram or Facebook. It was a completely different messaging app. But this time guys, what Facebook has done, it has completely changed WhatsApp into that app that fits right in between Facebook and Instagram. So WhatsApp now has been completely revamped, the UI has completely been changed, there are not much of an underhood settings change, but the entire UI, the entire look and feel has been given an overhaul. New emojis, new features, everything is new. Right after opening WhatsApp, we can see there are now four tabs instead of three. Previously we had calls, chats and contacts. This time, the contacts tab is completely missing. There's no contacts tab. We get a camera icon, chats, calls and status. The main reason of making this video is the status guys. The status feature of WhatsApp where people used to write whatever they felt, whatever their present status was, absolutely, it was a status update. And it was shown to all those people who were there in the contacts, they could see that status update. But this time guys, status is something different. Previously it was a textual status, this time we can provide videos, GIFs or even the usual text statuses. But videos and GIFs for a status update guys, kind of reminds me of this Instagram story stuff. Or if you're in India, WhatsApp has completely been changed into something like a hike equivalent. Hike gave us those hike stories, those status features, WhatsApp going in the same direction. Right from the left hand side, the camera tab is just a camera. We can select that camera, we can take pictures from it and put it up as a status or change the profile picture or anything that we want. Next up is usual chats. We have all our chats listed down just like before, no change. Now only under this chat tab. Clicking on the contacts icon will give you the contacts. Otherwise, there is no way of getting your contacts. Another swipe to the right and we get our status. This is the newest tab that has been introduced on WhatsApp. It gives you the status of your friends that has been shared by your friends. Be it a GIF, be it an image, be it a status, anything, it'll be shown to you. Coming from the top, you get your own status, your contact status and the status updates that you have already read under the red status category these status guys is valid only for one day it will remain under your status tab for only one day after which it will disappear it will completely vanish there is no method of getting it back so all you people out there who have no job to do at least you get one job per day change your status so that people can know that you're alive we can even share images or just just as i told before but the sharing images part guys is a lot like snapchat we can edit those images after we have taken them or we can select images from the gallery we can add text or emojis to the image itself and then update it as a status that's where whatsapp has gone guys a snapchat and a hike uh facebook and instagram everything has been combined into whatsapp a messaging app that has everything now the fourth and the final tab is the calls tab which we know already the calls that we have made on whatsapp be it video calls or voice calls anything now one more aspect that has changed guys is under the settings we get a new option known as privacy settings now privacy settings is mainly for the status updates that you'll put on whatsapp so what it does mainly is it allows you to either share your status with all of the contacts that you have or just Exclude a few contacts if you want to, be it your mom and dad, be it your friends, if you want some discretion of that status. Or you can just share with a particular person or with a particular group of people that you can select from the contacts. Now, that's good. Also, a new option that we have got over here is a two-step verification process. Now, I'm not completely sure if it's a new option or not, but I don't recall seeing this previously, so it might be a new option. I've seen this now, so I'm telling you. The two-step verification guys is simply two-step verification just like you've got in Google. So guys, that was it. That was the WhatsApp update that we have received finally. I'm not a big fan of it, nor is a huge amount of people fan of it. But if you ask me guys, I can make do with it. It's not that bad. Yes, it incorporates a lot of features, a lot of apps. Hi, Facebook, Snapchat, everything incorporated into WhatsApp. For your contacts, it's basically like Facebook guys. Facebook shares stuff within your friends, the friends in your friend lists and WhatsApp shares stuff within your friends in your contacts list. So WhatsApp things, your contacts are your own friends, 
Facebook things, everybody is a friend. Now it's up to you guys. It's your own opinion that you like it or you don't like it. I don't like it, nor do I dislike it very much. I'm kind of okay with it. I don't mind it. I don't mind having it. But seeing such a huge amount of hate for this update, I'm quite assured that WhatsApp will release some updates, some patches that will make do with this update at least. Make it usable. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you've liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me guys. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's this link over there. Subscribe to it. See you again in the next video guys. Peace.